Hi, it's Megan. I don't do a lot of haul videos, but once in a while I do haul videos. So that's what this is. And I was at IMATS today in Pasadena. I'm local. I'm in the Los Angeles area. Um, and I didn't stay that long. I'd be back for something else. But I did have a lot of fun while I was there. So first of all, how I feel about IMATS, it's overwhelming to me. The line to get in was like around the corner, around the corner, just going on forever. And I actually thought that the place did a really great job of getting people in but I got there early but not early enough so by the time I made it actually in the hall certain places had amazingly long lines so I kind of limited myself to the items that I really most wanted and part of it said I'm into Korean cosmetics right now as everyone knows and I'm actually going to be going to South Korea in the next couple months to look at products and meet with companies and everything in the Korean beauty industry. So I was trying to be, I don't know, I don't want to say good. I was trying to be moderate. But I did hit a couple of places and get a few things. So this is my haul video. And first, I am not actually going to do a lot of swatching. I'm going to photograph the stuff and do videos on it and all that. That's not what this video is about. But I did do one swatch. And I actually did two, so I'll probably put both of them in the video because why not? Um, and I have two of the products on. And that was just because this was a limited edition lipstick from Dose of Colors called Black Rose. And I've already swatched it on my arm because I took pictures of it. So it's on my lips. It's on my arms. It's like a really deep reddish blackened color with a little tinge of purple and a little tinge, maybe less, of brown. So that's it. And I'll show you, it comes in a special black box for the limited edition. And my understanding is that they were releasing this for the iMats. And then I think, and I, I don't know if it's a rumor number or a date or a hard one, but my understanding is it's going to come out in March 2015. But I did get one. They did not discount this, so it was full $20. And you were only allowed to get one, unless you wanted to wait in line for two hours again and get another, which I guess they probably would have let you do if anyone was tough enough for that. So that's the first one um, of my dose of colors. This is one of the places I hit. The other color I got, I never tried the liquid lipsticks before, and I'm a little scared of li li liquid lipsticks. If you see, I'm still not perfect in the application of them. Um, and these are so deeply, richly pigmented, and they're like just really amazing, and they're matte, and they're gorgeous, so I have nothing bad to say about them. But they're not idiot proof and sometimes especially when I'm trying a new product idiot proof helps so but they are gorgeous this is the salt one the other one I got is the very berry and I kind of wish now and this was discounted I kind of wish that I had gotten honestly more of these but I didn't so this is the very berry and I was wearing this on the way home it's so pretty I actually feel bad I went to iMats without any lipstick at all because I saw the line and I like dashed out of my car and I forgot to put lipstick on. Oh well. Um, and then I got Poise. I'm a huge Dose of Colors lipstick fan and Poise is one that's been sold out a lot online and then sometimes it just seems stupid to order one lipstick. So, and this was discounted also. So they had 30% off Dose of Colors for IMATS. This is it. And I'll do a video. I like these kind of colors just because I tend to play out my eyes so much. Um, and I kind of, I had not gotten Seduction, which was the other color I was looking at, which was like a fuchsia-ish color, and I really actually regret it. Whatever. But the berry is similar, so it's fine. The last thing I got, I'm also wearing, just because I was super curious, Dose of Colors has three highlighters, and anyone who watches my videos a lot knows I love highlighters. So I decided to get one of the colors. They had a peach, they had a sun-kissed, and they had a pink, which I, the name of it is gorgeous. It's, uh... Pearl dust. Look how, how perfect is that? So at first I thought, which one should I get? But then I've been complaining so much lately that um, a lot of the highlighters are leaning warm. I decided to go for the cool one and get the pearl dust. So this is it. And I have that as an eyeshadow and then under my eyes, kind of just lining in an inner bit, just really soft. And then right in here. It's really pretty. It's a finely milled, very pretty, very, very pretty. The other stand is not the last one. The other stand I hit. And here I apologize. There were two very nice young ladies who helped me 
decide on this and they've actually mentioned that they watched my YouTube channel before and I wish I could thank them by name. I am so bad with names so I really apologize. If you watch this video, please leave me a message with your names again and I apologize but you guys were so helpful. I'm just like the worst with names. I got this Stella Field of Florals Convertible Color. So this is something I have been eyeing and thinking I'm not paying $50 for that. But it was 32 at IMATS, and they only had a few, so it was one of those, like, get it, or it's going to be gone. And um, the lady that was working for Stila was using it, and the shades were just really pretty. So I got it. I'm actually really excited about this. I have a love-hate with Stila. It was one of the first makeup brands I actually really got into, that and Bobbi Brown. And, uh, like I said, love-hate. Then... You kind of move on and you go to other brands. And then I went to, so this is, I think it's called Muse something. So if you've been watching my video online, I use that name. So I'm sorry to the Muse people, but I like your name. I use it sometimes in my book that I'm putting on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to change that, I promise. They were super, super, super nice. So it's MuseBeauty.pro. They focus on... Um, really beauty products for makeup professionals and there were a bunch of products I kind of wish I'd gotten including a Vizart uh, gel eyeliner which has been on my hand so I'm testing out how waterproof it is and it's doing quite well um, but I didn't like I said I'm trying not to buy too much right now and I think looking at what I bought I did just fine so I got three of the Vizart palettes and the reason why I got three is because A I'm crazy and B, they were discounted, and they're pretty expensive. So to get them discounted was a real positive. So this is like my new discovery of the week. I just think they're amazing. And I swatched all of these there before buying any of them, and they're just so pretty. First one I got was the Paris Nudes. Wait, is it Paris Nudes or? No. I'm sorry, the Bridal Palette. What was I thinking? Paris Nudes was the video I did yesterday or whatever. The Bridal Palette. So I just really liked the quality of the shadows thought it was time to give a new mix and one with a little bit of cooler shades. Uh, the other one I had Paris Nudes was mixed, cool and warm. Then I have the warmer nudes, which I haven't really tried yet, and then I thought this was cooler. So I really, really am excited about that. Then, Sart is releasing two palettes, and at this point, the only one who has them is MuseBeauty.pro. And I guess they're coming out for everybody else like March. So, two new palettes, my new favorite eyeshadow brand. Sorry, I did it. I did it. This one. Again, you know, their, their packaging is fine. It's sturdy. It's, it's fine. This one right here is called Cool Mats. So um, this has been another kind of one of my complaints lately is that a lot of the makeup companies have been releasing a lot of palettes that are just so warm toned. And for people who like cool tones, or even for people like me who kind of veer in between and like to sometimes match our makeup with our clothes since we do veer in between, I just I thought this was beautiful and I swatched it same amazing quality. Um, I hadn't tried the news before and that's I guess what Vizart is known the most for. And part of the, what's great about some of these palettes I'm going to point out is that some of the shades can be used for like shadowing, like shading, um, contouring, all of that. And uh, so this is one of those. And I brows. The next one I got, I almost didn't get, so any comments are welcome. This is 08, so the last one was what, 07, the first one was 03, 07 is Cool Mats, 08 is Editorial Brights. And this one, I honestly, I think I probably bugged the people at Muse a little bit much about this one. I just decided to go for it. And what sold me actually, finally, was when one of the guys there, um, who's very talented and helps actually design some of the colors here. He said they've got two more colors coming out soon, but he wouldn't tell me what. He started mixing the browns and the grays with the colors. And I haven't done that myself. It's, it's like a no-brainer. How could you not think of that? But I haven't mixed shadows like that before. And it was really beautiful. So he would take like a brown or a gray. He would call it a sandwich and he would dot the brush in that and then dot it in here and then dot it back in the other and I really liked how beautiful and complex the shades were when he started mixing the colors and it kind of really fits what I thought about the Paris nude which was like there was this one color and then they have like little bits of shimmer barely noticeable in another color and it just really added to the complexity so I really liked kind of what he taught me and I wanted to play around with it so at some point 
I will do that. I will do a video where I start mixing the sh shades and shadows and show how much better it works. And one of the things that really sold me on the concept is I had been wearing kind of nude-ish natural look makeup one day and I went into Macy's and started playing with some of the um, shadows there and uh, someone came over and started mixing some red into my browns and all of a sudden it's the end of the day all of a sudden like my face and my eyes came alive because I just needed that little extra color an undertone to those really neutral matte browns to make my face come alive so I'm gonna be playing with that and I will do some videos on that until I play with it I'm not sure how I'll do the videos whether I just do one or whether I do you know, cool tones, warm tones, blues versus purples, I don't know, we'll see. So anyway, that's what I got at, um, at IMATS today. I'm thinking I did perfect. There are a couple things I kind of wish I'd gotten, but I want to I wanna save money for when I go to Korea. Anyway, and so thoughts and suggestions on that trip as well, I would love to hear. Anyway, that was my <laughs>